Morning, everybody, and thanks for waking up with the chase. No oh way. my God. Dave, I must ask you a question right now. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Sit back, relax, and crack a cold one. The chase is live. Oh, yeah. we're live, baby. Uh, oh. We made it to Friday, folks. Here it is. You know what? Let's celebrate with another episode of The Chase. Cheers. 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 Are you okay? Um, my back hurt when I did that. It's because she's carrying the team. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Troy LaCastro. This is the crater on my forehead growing and reclaiming her spot on the set is my co-host at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Elena Jonathan. Give it up. I'm back, baby. Oh, God. I'm back. The two of us should probably not be on the set together. I'm yeah. going to be completely honest with you. And we got a packed show today. Mm. So. Yeah, that's probably going to be a train wreck. <laughs> Just in the I say that, though, in the best way possible. I think the chat knows what you mean. Also, Celsius Arctic vibe, sparkling frozen berry. Yum. Never had that. Not going to lie. It's pretty lit. Really? Not going to lie. Pretty sick. You should have shot Not going to lie. Him. It's pretty <laughs> sick. Is that what the kids are still saying? What? Are they still saying lit? Yeah. No. <laughs> I think that's a little like 2017-ish. All right. Well, it's okay. I guess I have to update myself then. We'll but you, you know what? Even though we're pumped up, we're going to have to start today on a little bit of a somber note. Mm -hmm. um, a special rest in paradise to Coolio. Ladies and gentlemen, I just don't think I could start the show without shouting out Coolio. And you know how we like to do things here on mm -hmm. The Chase. We always like to tie things back into the hobby, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my way of giving Coolio respect and showing how this ties into the hobby. Guys, if you have any Coolio autos from Leaf Pop Century or Panini Americana, you might want to put them up on eBay immediately. Really? Yeah. Why, you may ask? Well, that's because I see... I think I looked the other day, and in August mm -hmm. oh, of yeah. this year, they were yeah. selling for forty bucks, mm -hmm. fifty bucks. I even saw some as low as probably like twenty-five, yeah, okay. twenty. Okay, you go over the past forty-eight hours here since he's unfortunately passed away. Uh, one fifty-two, uh, wow. one seventeen, one seventy-seven, one fifty, one sixty. So. If you've been sitting on those Coolio autos from all those Panini and Leaf products yeah. back then, um, you might want to throw them up on eBay right now. Yeah. I know that seems kind of dirty morbid. and kind of morbid to be making money off of his unfortunate passing, but uh, we'll still remember him for the Keenan and Kel theme song, obviously, Gangsta's Paradise. That's the one I know. And, of course, he went on his fantastic voyage into the sky now so thank you r.i.p coolio r.i.p coolio, coolio. Uh, so david is off to vegas for the industry summit which we will be having more on later but you know if you're gonna fill in for david you have to continue the legacy of the quote of the day so why don't you hit it with us it's hit only, us with it Jeez. it's only proper that this quote of the day is from coolio himself and it is life is too short to not have fun we are only here for a short time compared to the sun and the moon and all that. Mm. There you go. Coolio. Guy gets it. Got, the guy gets it. Basically, that was an old school way of saying, I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. There you go. Right? Good translation. Yes. I like that. I speak Coolio's language. You do. You were, you were very upset about that, so we had to put yeah, it in the man. show. I told you, 90s hip hop is my thing. That is your thing. See, I'm a little bit... She's younger, guys. Yeah. She's showing her age, basically. Yeah. She's calling me old. Yeah. My mom had to drop me off here today. That's how young I am. <laughs> mom, can you come pick me up? Mom? Mom? <laughs> All right. Now, now we can get to the show. Here's what we have ahead for you. As always, you'll see what products are dropping today. We'll show you what the infamous Zuckerberg Little League card ended up selling for. Also, all rise for Aaron Judge 
as auction houses and a judge himself, <laughs> Chase History. And director of the Industry Summit, Ted Barker, is going to be joining us later to share what you can expect from the event. Lastly, we are doing a box rip giveaway of the release of 2022 Panini Score Football. And um, there might be some live bidding later, so you might want to stick around for that. We love a live bid. But now is a perfect time (laughs) to pick our giveaway winner for the box of 2022 Elements Football that we opened up on Wednesday. We asked y'all to comment what your favorite sports rivalry is, and the winner is right here from Dear Meerkat. Okay, it is Kitty Lick Lick 420. Kitty Lick Lick with Giants versus Dodgers and 49ers versus Raiders. Congratulations, Kitty. You know what to do at this point. Look out for a whisper from us, or if you're live in the chat, please send your shipping information to mm-hmm. the chase at dacardworld.com. But we love that. We do we do love that. We, we love, love to see it. We love we to love see love it for Kitty Licklet. Oh, but <laughs> Ooh, look at the coffee. Uh, the coffee meter, chat. Coffee meter. It's early. Coffee meter. It's early. I think, oh, Kitty Lick Lick's in here. Woo! <laughs> what did you win? I'm glad you asked. You won a <laughs> box of 2022 <laughs> Elements Football that we opened on Wednesday. So check on Wednesday's show to see what cards we got out of there. You got an Otis Anderson autograph. I do remember that. So check that out. Uh, but. Please, but what? We have unfinished business with some other winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm glad you said that. I got a bone to pick with some bone. of you. Mm. Bones. Bones. Multiple. We still got some chase giveaways that never were claimed. What and is going cool on? Ones. What is going on? Yeah, there's a Derek Jeter one of one that somebody won that still hasn't been claimed. So we've had enough. Hello. That's it. Okay, so here is a last call. Last call for past winners. Closing time like semi-sonic. On Twitch, Grayson Flatness and Brickhouse Collectibles. You two have chase giveaways that you have not claimed. So please, 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 please reach out to us, whisper to us, or send your information to the chase at dacarworld.com. We want to get those prizes out to you. As for YouTube, we're looking for Carson Moore, Joshua Levy, Ethan Smith and Benjamin Davis. That is too many names that I just had to read yeah, right there. Way too many for something free. Free, 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 free. Who doesn't like free? And there's some banger. I'm pretty sure there's some bangers on that shelf. I know. So listen, if you're not claiming it by the end of today, we're going to find a way to, to re random. We're going to run it at night bot. We're running. Okay. We're night bot. I just got word from Tyler. If you guys don't claim it, we're running it in night bot. So That's there it, it is. So, or else. Or else. Yeah. You heard Elena. Or else. Elena is the brain or the, the, the brawn brain. here. She's the brawn here. She'll beat your ass. Oh, I will. I said that for you. I will. I said. Uh, <laughs> so just a obviously exhausting reminder. Send an email to the chase at DACR with your shipping inf- information. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> choked Clear, on my your throat. There. Clear your throat. Clear your throat. All right. Um, guess what, though? You've been silent for too long. So guess what? I'm going to turn it over to Elena now. She's going to start us off with what is hitting the shelves today new release reminder first up is prism baseball first and first off the line collectors can find prisms numerous parallels there will be three autos three silver prisms four blue prisms and five red prisms per hobby box in the first off the line look for three autos with one of them being a first off the line exclusive parallel first off the line and four first off the line exclusive shimmer prisms and the same amount of silver, blue, and red prisms as hobby. Prism includes ultra rare color blasts and lava flow inserts. Find autos of top rookies like O'Neill Cruz and Juan Wander Fra- Franco. Oh my God, the coffee's making I'm me Ron stutter. Burgundy? I'm Ron Burgundy? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, Wander Franco? Wander <laughs> Franco? I'm shaking. You were right. You were oh, right. Oh, I got it. Click, um, clack, clickety, clack, click, clack. Click, clack, click, clack. But there you go. You see uh, Manny Machado. You see some uh, examples of the cards up there on the screen Tyler had mm-hmm. for you. Uh, so, score mm-hmm. is back for the 2022 season. Yeah. And it's the first officially licensed, I forgot that word, NFL product of the year. <laughs> it's loaded with new rookies, inserts, 
parallels, and autographs. Each hobby box will have four autographs, 90 rookies, Whoa. 10 parallels, and be on the lookout for rookie signatures from players like Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Drake London, Brees Hall, and more. As you see, I gave the wide receivers love. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can find Kenny Pickett and Malik Wallace as well. But there you go. There's a Josh Allen intergalactic right there. We'd love, love to see it. So there you saw some examples up there on the screen. Tyler had for you there. There you go. Brees Hall auto right there. Mm -hmm. Kenny Pickett rookie in their NFL uniforms. Yeah. Kenny Pickett is like the hot hot card right now he is even though he hasn't touched hasn't the touched, field at all <laughs> hasn't seen a snap but hasn't right. seen a snap but <laughs> stonks are going up on stonks. kenny and more into new releases the 2022 tops pro debut baseball hobby box Col baseball collectors you need to listen up it's a 200 card base set in each hobby box you'll get four autos per box top says look closely for base set image variations on top of all of that you can also find milb legends and drafty debut inserts a lot to look out for in that new release but Tops isn't done there. They're also releasing the 2022 Tops Pro Debut Baseball Hobby Jumbo Box. So what's in the Jumbo Box set? You can expect to find three autos per box along with exclusive base set chrome variations and the all new Fuchsia and Aqua base set mm. parallels Fuchsia. On top of that, there are aqua refractors, parallels, and orange lava parallels. Some cool things in that release today. I just like, I love the color fuchsia. Yeah. So I'm all for big that. Fu big fuchsia fan. Big fuchsia fan. Do you have, say that sometimes fast. Big fuchsia fan, big fuchsia fan, big fuchsia fan, big fuchsia fan. Big fuchsia fan. <laughs> yeah. My heart rate is at 160. <laughs> Yo, it's the coffee. <laughs> where's, the, where's the coffee meter chat? Um, yeah, honestly, though, I feel like a lot of people skip over the pro debut, obviously, because they're not in their MLB uniforms. Mm -hmm. But I saw some cool cards up there. I saw a Deion Sanders. Mm -hmm. So everybody forgets he played baseball. But then I saw there's a Julio Rodriguez auto, too. So, obviously, that product, nothing to sneeze at. No, not at all. It's all right. exciting for some people. I would agree. Jumbo. Um, thank you for that, Elena. I appreciate okay. it. Uh, now, let's get into what is going on around the hobby. We've seen cards of pretty much everyone at this point, it seems like. But none of founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> until now yes there it is ladies and gentlemen up on the screen you will see i'm not kidding an autographed 1992 little league mark zuckerberg the baseball card there graded by sgc has sold at auction for a hundred and five thousand dollars i believe that was the winning bid but after everything like fees buyer's premium whatever you want to say i think it ended up at actually a hundred and twenty thousand. Oh after my everything. god uh yeah yeah so along with the physical card the buyer will also get an nft version of the card too a camp counselor is actually the person who found the card in an old memorabilia box mm -hmm. that had been saved for years yeah at his old camp where he apparently played baseball kind of strange I, i'm not I gonna just, lie it's a little it, it's a little bit like, I, what did you see in Zuckerberg back then that you knew, you know, this guy's going to this guy's going to be a revolutionary for social well, media, the pro social networking? The way I interpreted this story was mm -hmm. that it was a present camp counselor at this camp in, I want to say, um, I want to say like Connecticut or something like that. And she was just going through a box oh, of memorabilia okay. and she found okay. the young Zuckerberg card. And the whole this is what gets me. She felt sentimental about it. And she says that she sent it to Zuckerberg because she was like, oh, like his little baseball card. Like, I want to give it back. Yeah. And yeah. then he's like sold auction, <laughs> auction it off. <laughs> like, what? I, what? What do you think? I, I just don't know. I'm like, at what cost? <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not a big Zuckerberg guy I mean, to begin I with. I just don't honestly. care. Yeah. So to me, that just shows his character that he's like, <laughs> oh, oh my God, thank you so much. A card from my past. Let's sell this. It's gonna sell for six <laughs> figures. She was like, oh, he could give it to his kids, maybe, or you know, your mom. No, sold. Turns around Auction. and sells it. Couldn't even throw the woman a bone. I know. Like nothing. It's just not even not even like one share of of Meta. <laughs> or whatever the hell Instagram and, and I know. Facebook I think it's now. meta now. Like, yeah. who cares? Like, Mark Zuckerberg, good night. 
Let's move on. Move on. Auctioneers everywhere are punching the air, or they look like Ken Dorsey with his iPad after the Yankees versus that Blue Jays game because Aaron Judge... He hit his number 61 ball, that homer, and fans were so excited. They were in the stands with their gloves, except it went into the bullpen, the bullpen. But don't worry, someone still got the ball. And here's where everyone, I hope, had the same reaction as me. The, oh, Aaron Judge giving it to his mommy. Oh, I love it. Yes, he gave them. So sweet. He gave the ball to his mother. The only person that deserved that ball, in my opinion, is either Aaron Judge or his mom. One thousand percent. I said this. I said this off camera and I am not afraid to say it on camera that I personally got the sick pleasure that it landed (laughs) in the bullpen. Yeah, I don't think you understand how happy I am that somebody didn't get it. And it doesn't go to an auction right. house. I love it that everybody who owns an auction house right now is probably having an absolute stroke <laughs> because they're not going to get their hands on that 61st ball. <laughs> but does this make number? I was trying to do a little bit of research. Does this make 62's value skyrocket? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't call myself an expert. Right. But based on the trends that I've seen since I've really been back in the hobby. Stonks are going up. That's Stonks. what I would say. I Yes, I would think this makes this one even more valuable, 100%, because two reasons now. One, 61st probably isn't going to hit the market Mm-mm. at all. I wouldn't. I would hope not, unless I'd it's like that camp counselor, the mom just decides to sell her stuff. Yeah, could you imagine that? That What a plot twist that would be. It would shock everyone, I think, if Mrs. Judge decided to sell her son's ball. Yeah, I think she would she would get some nasty comments. The moms wouldn't like that. But yeah, so I think because of that, I think 62 is going to be I mean, I know people were like some of the auction people or some of the memorabilia guys. Probstein, Golden. Yeah, like they well, not even that. Yeah, some other guys I saw too were saying that this might the ball originally might be north of a million or whatever. I think uh, it was 1.2. I know um Meerkat had that on Card News now. They were thinking that it would be worth in the ballpark eh, of 1.2. Yeah, so I think it's I think it's only going to go up. Yeah. I mean, just for that reason, for people, because that's what happens too a lot of times. I talk about this a lot on the show, how these experts, quote mm-hmm. unquote, guys that have been in this industry for so long, uh, they hype things up, mm-hmm. right? They're like, oh my God, this thing's going to go for $3 million. So with the hype around it and the fact that there's no 61 ball, I think we're going to see it shoot up. Uh Want to give a shout out to Chris Ta- Chris Tov eighty one here. Thank you for gifting a sub there. Really appreciate it. Thank and you. We have another giveaway idea. Oh, Teach, listen, this guy TJ. I tell you right now, I have never he's seen a beauty. TJ. TJ's a beauty. Always giving us giveaway ideas. So when we get to the football, I think that's a great idea. Uh, we're gonna leave a comment in the Twitch YouTube how much you that think that idea. sixty second ball will end up going for. Thanks, TJ. I like that idea. Preach. Appreciate Preach. you, TJ. Appreciate, yeah. No, no more chat about Cooper Rush. I already got yelled at for Yeah, that. we all got yelled at. <laughs> okay. We told you earlier in the show that, <laughs> that we shipped David off to Vegas for the Industry Summit. Mm-hmm. But back here, uh, we've got the director of the event, Ted Barker, with us to share what to expect from this year's summit in the six days ahead. So let's go ahead and check that out. Another great guest we have here today for you on this Friday edition of The Chase. Ladies and gentlemen, help me in welcoming and introducing Mr. Ted Barker, the director of the Industry Summit. Good morning, Ted. How you doing? Morning. How are you? Well, uh, we're all tired, but we, we've got adrenaline flowing. We've got a busy six days ahead of us that are that's starting literally in the in, in two hours when the card show opens to the public for Friday and Saturday, just before we start the industry summit Sunday through Wednesday. So it's, it's the calm before the madness for us. Yep. Those last couple of breaths you can take before you got to hold it for six days, but uh, obviously packed with fun and so much work goes into it ahead of time. And then, you know, before you know it, boom, it's over, but it's always, uh, it's always a good time. It's always well, it's like the national. People always say, "What's your favorite day of the national?" Favorite day of the national is the day after the national. <laughs> as much fun as it is, and as much work goes into it, you get a chance to take a breath 
and and look back hopefully to uh to an outstanding event yeah absolutely and uh from him and i we oh, can yeah. actually agree with you from that standpoint on the national after the week we yeah, had can as well definitely can definitely attest to that so yeah <laughs> definitely definitely attest to that for sure so before we get into the event itself though i just want to get a little background on you if you could just tell us a little bit about how you started working in the hobby well i started as a buyer back when they had uh, mail order catalogs and that was a big thing i worked for for a company called Athletic Supply, and we were the official mail order catalog of the National Football League. At different times, the NBA, uh, Major League Baseball, we did a PGA Tour catalog. Uh, when you got your big My Wish catalog at Christmas that was the size of a phone book, this is back in the uh, before you guys were born maybe, the, the big section of licensed products in there was from uh, us, Athletic Supply in Dallas. Um, and I was a buyer of all the memorabilia and and collectibles in that catalog and trading cards were a part of that. I went to work in the industry in 1998 uh, at Upper Deck and I worked on the UDA side of the business for four and a half years. Uh, then we all got fired and six months later I ended up at, at uh, with a lot of us from Upper Deck at Donruss and I worked at Donruss for three years until we lost our baseball license and 80% of us got let go. That's when I went to Beckett and I went to Beckett and I stayed there for three years. When Panini bought Donruss, I went back to work for Donruss for uh, another five years. Uh, I was out of the industry a couple of years and I've been back at, at Beckett um, since um, 2017. So I've been around a while in a lot of different functions. A seasoned veteran for sure by trade, I would, I would that's, say. That's a nice way of saying old. No, no, I would never say that. Exactly. Never, never, Seasoned never. veteran, it, it, it's a nice blanket statement, in my opinion. You know, <laughs> and it, it, it makes everybody feel included. Just veteran of the game. Exactly. <laughs> so moving on to the summit, how would you describe the industry summit to someone who's new to the hobby? The industry summit is the largest networking B2B conference in, in the industry that is geared toward uh, the local card shop, for breakers, uh, distributors, manufacturers, all coming together for a lot of fun, free food, free gifts, fellowship, all of that kind of thing. Uh, but also it's, it's uh, two and a half days of extensive programming that is all meant to make that group of uh, dealers and breakers that are there uh, better business people and help them to learn ways that uh, they can make their businesses grow uh, and, and make themselves as an individual business leader get better. That's what we want to happen every year at the summit. The attendees want the fun, the gift bag, the free food, the prizes, and there is all of that there. Uh, but it's, it's not what we consider a success unless you leave with your head just swimming with ways to make yourself a better business person and your business grow. That's what it's about. It's like going, it's like going to school. I always would a get asked, do you learn anything? You, you had to learn at least one thing today. That's it. So you're gonna learn, at least you're gonna one learn thing. A little something at the summit. You had to have a takeaway. Uh, and yep. I think that's very important. So in saying that, you know, is there people within the industry that, come back from year to year that maybe you get a chance to speak with that was that reflect and give you feedback on something they learned the year before and what they're kind of looking forward to besides the free food and that uh, in the upcoming event? Well, that happens throughout the year. That happens all the time, but it begins shortly after the summit ends. We send out a survey and we ask for those kind of inputs. Um, we changed, for example, our breaking our, our breakers roundtable this year was uh, we changed the format completely based upon um, a conversation that I had about a month after the summit, uh, unsolicited conversation. Somebody said, have you ever thought about doing this? Uh, this may be a better format. Me as a breaker, but not the most high profile breaker. Uh, I learned a lot, but I think I can add this and I think this would be a better format. We tweak it all the time and we hear all the time uh, from past attendees and uh, we started as i said 
just as soon as the summit's over, the week after the summit, or maybe two weeks this year, they're going to get a uh, all. Every attendee is going to get a chance to to uh, give us their opinion on what we could do better, what we might need to eliminate, all of those kind of things. And we listen to every one of those, good or bad, because it's their summit. It's at, at Beckett. We feel like this is our gift and our give back to the industry. We treat it as Switzerland. We hit, we invite all the grading companies. We invite all the manufacturers, all the leagues, uh, and we just facilitate. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's an interesting point you made there, Switzerland. So for those who may not understand, you're kind of neutral, you know, you, you're, you're yep. bringing in everybody and, and you know, it's for the greater good of the business, you know, trying, trying to grow that. Um, so being back with Beckett since 2017, you know, we talked about kind of your, how you made it back here. Um, but how did you actually get involved and, in, you know, become the director of the summit? I came back, I came back, uh, uh, to run the sales team in 2017 and the industry summit had always been held in the first part of the, in the first quarter of the year, February, March, it started nearly 40 years ago, uh, when Kit Young invited a group of dealer friends over to Hawaii to sort of get out of the winter, uh, have some nice time in the middle of the winter in, in Hawaii, have some fun and, and maybe try and talk about business a little bit. And that morphed into, they added a card show component to it, stayed there a long time. Um, uh, and then it was sold eventually to Kevin Isaacson. Uh, Kevin Isaacson brought it back to the mainland for the most part. And it, it's, it's occurred lots of places around the U.S., um, down in South Florida, in Phoenix, uh, in, uh, in the Phoenix Chandler area. It's happened in Dallas, uh, mostly in Las Vegas. Uh, but in 2015, I think it was 15, 14 or 15, uh, Beckett bought it from Kevin. Kevin stayed on as an advisor and, and, and is still a part of the, uh, our company today. Um, and in 2017, it, the, the summit was the same every year. It, it, it was virtually the same, same 150, 200 people every year, same time of year. And w after uh, the 2018 summit, which occurred in Dallas, um, it had kind of, we felt like it had kind of plateaued and, and gotten a little bit stale. And so we did an internal focus group and said, what do we need to do to make it better? And Kevin asked me if I would, if I would run it. Um, uh, and I, and I said, yes, I'd like to do that, but we need to grow it. Uh, so we looked at ways to grow it. Uh, one of the things we have a very small staff that works on the summit, even though we work on it all year long, the core staff is basically myself uh, Alex Soriano, who's in our sales, uh, a member of our sales team that I worked with at Upper Deck for a long, long time. Um, and then Ray Schulte, uh, who uh, is a consultant for us and works as my co-host and moderates a lot of the sessions. The, the three of us felt that uh, we wanted to have the formula that I described to you. We wanted people to have a great, great time, go home with a bag full of good stuff, but a head full of, of good knowledge about what they needed. Um, and we really wanted to grow it. And one of the, one of the roadblocks was that it always occurred, uh, toward the end of the winter, right before, right before the summer, but the end of the first quarter. And if you think about what goes on in the first quarter in the sports world that affects our industry and, and most of the attendees at the summit to some degree, you have the Super Bowl, you have the college football championship game, the NBA all-star game, the NHL all-star game. You have manufacturer uh, distributor meetings. There's just a lot going on. And by the time they got to the summit, not only were they dragging, but their wallets were about that thick because they'd spent all their money on traveling and they were worn out. So we thought, uh, why don't we move it to the fourth quarter? Again, we don't like to operate in a silo. So we reached out to our partners. I talked to Adam Martin about it. Uh, and we, we said, if we moved it, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Everybody felt like it was a great thing. So we moved it. Uh, we moved it to that part of the year, and it has created uh, a lot of growth. Uh, our programming has created a lot of growth. The first year we moved it, we went from about 175 attendees to 350 attendees. Then we had the pandemic, so we had to do it in 2020 online. We had about 350 that participated in that. Wow. Last year, we had 425. This year, we sold out 500 spots 
Uh, we actually reconfigured the ballroom to squeeze some more people in. So we've got uh, we've got about 540 participants in some level this year during the week. That doesn't count the card show, but just the summit portion. And we had to tell uh, over 30 people, no, there's just no more room. The fire marshal is threatening us with fines uh, <laughs> if, if we let anybody else in. So that's that's sort of where we've gotten today. And that's one of the reasons we're so excited about um, this week and what's going to happen uh, over the next five or six days is because of the quality of programming we have. And we have uh, close to 400 that you would look at and say they're either a dealer, a breaker, someone who's selling trading cards in some form below the di distributor and manufacturer level. That's awesome. And you talked a little bit about, you know, how, how the summit seemed like it was staying the same over time for a little bit. Let's go on to the differences. So what is different about this year's summit compared to maybe some of the last few years? Uh, that we've, we've, uh, we've morphed that over the last three or four years, but what it, the last one before we took it over that we looked at, it was a, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of presentations by the manufacturers, but very similar in what they would do in a distributor meeting where they're talking about upcoming products and the value of those products and why you should take this one and why this product lives and that kind of thing. There's a lot of that. And there was less of the, uh, teaching portion of it, and and we have uh, we realize that what people want to really know is how what's in it for me. How can I get better? Uh, I have a dozen other opportunities to learn about products, and I have a I, I have opportunities to hear about how great somebody is at social media or whatever the case may be. I want to know how I can do the same thing. So we made it more like sessions. Uh, that are teaching times, and we have filled the programming with that. Although we did, we still do have presentations from uh, from manufacturers, but this is mostly about. Uh, we've included influencers this year. Something different. We're calling them Summit TED Talks. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm talking. In fact, I started to call it TED Doesn't Talks, so that people are glad I'm not on stage. But we we have people like uh, Dan Fleischman and DJ Ski and Dr. Beckett. Uh, and our CEO who are, who are doing short TED Talks about a, a subject, whatever they think is is uh, uh, a way they can help the attendee. So that's a change. We shortened the, the time frame of a lot of the panels. It used to be uh, an hour long, and we do a lot of 30-minute uh, panels and sessions, less panels, more roundtables, more teaching moments, all of those, all of those kind of things. Uh, and then the lipstick is better too. We've got better signage and we've got better food and we've got all those things that make it more comfortable when you're sitting there for two and a half days so that we can hold your attention uh, while you speak. And, and we always try to bring in a great uh, keynote speaker too and give, the, give everyone an experience uh, with a keynote speaker. This year, it's Johnny Bench. Wow. Awesome. Love me some Johnny Bench. Yeah, a classic <laughs> right there. Love that. Yeah. See, another word, a classic, you know? Yep. I'm not calling him old. I'm calling him classic. Right? Well, he actually, uh, uh, with, uh, among catchers, you could call him a goat. That's right. I mean, hey. he's, he's the greatest catcher of all time. So, fun fact. And I'm a Texas Ranger fan, but even, even Pudge Rodriguez tips his cap to Johnny Bench. Oh, absolutely. You know, yep. the hey, he paved the road. He paved the road for Pudge, you know? And a little fun fact here for a hyper local thing, but for those who don't know, Johnny Bench once played for a single A ball club out of Niagara Falls, New York, the Niagara Falls Pirates. Yep. So there you go. A little my, trivia knowledge for uh, those folks at home. My dad was once the bat boy of that team. Was he? Yeah. Oh, too <laughs> funny. Too funny. So uh, I heard you say that you're bringing on influencers this year. So I'm curious, you know, in, in your words, what do you think – that these influencers are going to bring to the summit this year? You know, like how, how are they going to impact uh, the event in its entirety? Last year, for the first time, we had an influencer panel. And um, what we wanted them to bring that time, we wanted them, it's, it's uh, some, some people in the hobby are awestruck to be in the same room with, with someone like DJ Ski or Dan Fleischman. Last year, it was, it was Josh Luber, Dan Fleischman, DJ Ski, and Ken Golden, uh, we felt like uh, what they were going to give was was their insight uh, into 
their passion for the industry for one, very similar to everybody else sitting out there. They've become high profile. How did they do that? They they've done it through uh, marketing. They've done it through social media. They've done it because they're they're wise, intelligent businessmen. Um, and we wanted them to learn from all of that. And we wanted them to see that uh, they're just real guys, just like everybody else. Um, and they stood around and talked to people and it was fantastic. But we felt like if we did that 2.0, it might be a little bit redundant. So that's why we, we want, I don't know what DJ Ski and Dan Fleischman are going to talk about. They're going to get up there together and feed off of each other. We're not even moderating that. We moderated it last year a little bit, but basically it was a conversation between these influencers and really uh, seeing into the mind of how they work and how they and, and how they had grown uh, their passion and their business. So that's what we want the influencers to do. We have Dr. Beckett who's going to do uh, a TED Talk, and Dr. Beckett, uh, we like to call him the original influencer. Uh, m- m- most of these people would not have been in the hobby. The hobby wouldn't wouldn't. Uh, be the same as it is today if it wasn't for for Dr. Beckett uh, and uh, him starting the price guides back in the in the mid '80s. Uh, one of the one of the uh, influencer panels, if you want to call it that, that we have on Monday that I'm really excited about involves <laughs> Adam Martin, uh, and this is an idea that that I talked with with Dr. Beckett uh, seven or eight months ago. And I said, you know, you you not only are an influencer uh, today, but you've been an influencer for decades. But over the years, uh, you you had to to uh, make changes and you had to adjust. And uh, you're relevant today, and that's important to you. But how did you keep that relevancy? But now he's a podcaster. Uh, he's still a collector. You still find him at shows, rifling through the the common packs, trying to find cards all the time. And so, um, there are a lot of young guys your age that are in, that are in the hobby that may not know the heritage of what Jim Beckett is about. They may not know. They may know now about Burbank Sports Cards uh, and the Card Father, but before he was a Card Father, he was Rob Barris, and he had a shop in in uh, in Burbank, Burbank Sports Cards. So now he's running shows. He's got a he's got a, uh, a show that he's doing. Uh, as the card father, he's got a brand new location. He's had to make many changes and adjustments over his career to remain relative. You have a guy like Adam who started out just going to card shows and then being a card show dealer. And then he's developed his, uh, his business. Uh, and now uh, you, you're, a, you're, you're not only a breaker and you not only uh, uh, have the hit parade uh, brand of products, you're an international retailer. So, he has remained relevant over decades, like these two guys. And, I'm, and so this iconic panel is going to be these guys uh, teaching those in the room and discussing how they got to where they are today and why they still love it at their, at their uh, veteran ages and why they're still relevant in the industry. So that's the kind of thing that, you, that you're going to hear uh, when you come and uh, um I don't want to oversell it because I don't want somebody to fly to Las Vegas and walk up to registration tomorrow and say, I didn't register, but I'm here to pay because they can't get in since we're sold out. <laughs> it's, it's going to be fantastic. I think it's the best one we've ever put together. That's honestly what you just said. That was like a perfect segue into the next question because mm-hmm. I was going to say, you know, maybe not this year because I don't want the fire marshals coming after you. But why should someone attend the industry summit in the future? What what are Why should they come to this event because the the uh, discussion i just told you about uh is one and we have on tuesday alone we have about 10 equally compelling sessions so that when they come we've reached our goal and they are going to find out uh how how somebody who has made it made it how they can buy better we have a product showcase with about 20 vendors of complimentary products that uh, uh, retailers should be carrying in their shops and um, can be offering on their marketplaces online. So we have a vibrant product showcase. Uh, that's a real reason to come. You've got the whole Fanatics. You got everybody in the Fanatics brands that are going to be there. You have, you have the Tops brand. 
you have zero cool, you have fanatics authentics, you have fanatics auctions. You get to meet with the leaders of our industry. You get to meet with CEOs. You get to meet with the with the people that you can buy from if you're looking for new products and can and can tell you the what the show deals are and and the best deals. Plus, you get to interact uh, and network with 400 other dealers and breakers that are there. In addition to the distributors, the manufacturers, and the licensor, we've got we've got people that will be there from the NBA from the NFL and from major league baseball, all three. Awesome. A lot to look forward to a lot to look forward to. Um, so I guess the next thing I would want to know, next question I have is for someone who's getting an opportunity to attend this event for the first time, what's <laughs> some recommendations that you have, uh, for those first time attendees? There are lots of meetings that can take place. And when you do it in a place like Las Vegas, you go right down the escalator and there's a casino right there. Uh, Go back there on vacation and do that stuff. Uh, If you miss out on a session, you're missing out on a way to learn. Uh, And if you, or you're missing out on sitting next to somebody that you don't know who may have an answer to a question because they're going through the same struggle or the same challenge you are with your business. if, if I'm the, if, if I would give a recommendation, I would say, don't miss a session, meet as many people as you can and take the time that we have in the product showcase to find some new products, because there are a lot of, there are a lot of great products that are, uh, that are being shown. All of those things are important. Um, and, uh, eat your food up there because it's free. <laughs> it's included. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> noted there you go i like how you bookended that you start with don't miss a damn session you gotta learn but at the same time make sure you get that free food Manja. get the free food and, and and we it's it's really a fun part for me is that we have nearly 100 items to give away thanks to all of our sponsors and partners uh, some of them would like to be talked about some of them like to do it stealth so I'm not going to say that Adam helps us, but we get help all the time. We've got lots of products to give away. So when I'm pulling out, when I, I literally pull out numbers, uh, uh, names out of a hat, just like here's a Beckett hat and there's a bunch of names in here. I've cut up all the names and they're actually in my bag that I'm taking. So we're getting to give away 100 prizes. And these aren't, this isn't a T-shirt. Uh, they, there are a lot of autographed items. There are a lot of boxes of cards. Um uh, but only if you're in the room do you get a chance to win. So it's another reason to stick around for all the sessions because I'm pulling things out all the time to give away, and it's great stuff. Not Ted's first rodeo, very much prepared. Ted, in closing, is there anything that we may have missed that you would like to get out there uh, for this event coming up right now? Well, it's only good for the people that are in the Las Vegas area or if you're in Phoenix or if you're – uh, in Southern California, uh, you you have today, uh, but tomorrow uh, we have Andre Dawson and Johnny Bench that are signing autographs at the card show. Andre Dawson is 11 to 1, and uh, Johnny Bench is 1 to 3. Uh, if you don't have an item for them to sign, we have items that you can purchase there uh, that they can sign for you, but we've got two great autograph guests, and the card show is great. It's It's only 130 tables, which is not a huge show, but a lot of the dealers are from all over the country because there are dealers, a lot of the dealers, the majority of the dealers come uh, and stay for the summit. So uh, we have national dealers that you won't see if you're in the Las Vegas uh, area. Typically, they're there for this show, um, and it's it's a it's a great time, and it's a great kickoff, and uh For those coming to the summit, get there early because we're we're having a really fun event on Sunday afternoon. We have a a Texas Hold'em tournament uh, that is sponsored by two distributors, Peach State Sports and All Sports Marketing. Uh, It's free. uh, There are prizes. There are free drinks and free food for that, too. So uh, start the day with Sunday fun day and then end the day with uh, in, in, in the week. Uh, with uh, a lot of uh, education. And when you leave on Wednesday, you're going to leave fulfilled. There you go. Love to hear it. I think you should start handing out pop quizzes at the door when people leave too, all right, (laughs) to make sure that they actually learn something. Well, we get those verbally. They'll they'll come up and say, I 
I had no idea. And they'll tell us about something they learned. And that's really, really heartwarming for us. And, and um, that makes us feel good because that's our goal. Well, there it is, Ted. An absolute great pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for carving some time out with us. Uh, the director of the Industry Summit, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, have a great show. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see what, what comes of this. So thank you so much. Thanks, Greg. It's, uh, and, and I love your set. The first oh, time I saw you. it, I said, man, those guys have a great set. We just moved into a new building at Beckett, and we're planning a studio to do all our podcasts and, and those kind of things. And we have – we have uh, – studio envy for you guys because it looks it that's that's kind of the vision that i have for what our beckett studio should be for interviews that we do there or whatever we're doing in our studio that's it well thank you we appreciate uh, i appreciate it. all those kind words yeah for sure it's uh it was a lot of fun building it and you know kind of seeing the fruits of your labor uh, yeah you know being presented like this it's uh it's it's an absolute blast so thank yeah, you for congratulations that. appreciate that ted thank, thank you, you so much all right, guys, we're going to toss it back to you. Thanks, Troy. I love doing that. I love tossing <laughs> it back to myself. Uh, but honestly, uh, thanks to Ted again. Uh, really appreciate the kind words he was putting over our studio. Studio For those of you who don't know what putting over means, it means that he was complimenting us there. So putting over the studio. Uh, he got just, Dave pretty excited for the summit, too. Yeah, great conversation. Uh, a lot of good things, it sounds like. I'm actually jealous that David got to go. I, I, I would have liked to go to Vegas, yeah. have, a, have a wedding this weekend, though. But um, <laughs> thanks again to Ted, and hopefully we'll talk to him again soon. Yeah, that um, was great. Yeah, it was great. So what do you say we move on? Uh, we've actually been keeping an eye on the... I think I'm... Hey, Tyler, I think I'm getting a call. Could you hmm. uh, patch that through, please? Hello? Hey, Adam. What? How much? How much? I don't know. Are you sure? I don't... I don't... Oh, he hung up on me. Oh, what did he say? <sighs> um, he wants us to put in a $3 million bid on the t206 uh honus wagner that's on golden right now wait how much three million um here it is on the screen i i don't i can't believe he's trusting us with this much this, money yeah yeah are, tyler are I you no are, are you sure about this tyler I, tyler doesn't know either uh <laughs> um he you're sure he said i swear to god that's what he said in the okay, on the phone okay, okay. i'm not all right, now now we're waiting. Well, as you can see here, the current bid is at 2.6. Uh, Tyler, how many zeros are in 3 million? Six. Tyler says six. He said it pretty confidently. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got to hype oh it up here. My God. This is this is at the order of Adam, okay? I it's not like I'm doing this. Yeah, this it's not my money. So, You heard him on the phone. I that's just what he said. I'm just, listen, the boss told me to do this, so I'm doing it. So here, here goes nothing. Oh, I, just do it. Just, just do it. You got to do it. Oh, oh my come God. on. Oh, uh, God. What? What is this? Okay, name? we're confirming. I, I appreciate <laughs> Golden for letting us confirm. <laughs> Count the zeros for me. Just all right. Let's count all the right, zeros, chat, everybody. Chat, count the zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks like One three million to me. How many commas? The Rock says, "Know your role and place the bid." Can we confirm? Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Congratulations! You're the highest bidder. Oh my! What? Oh, a bunch of applause. But ladies and gentlemen, can we take a live look? At the DA accounting department, please. Oh my! Why did it, it do twenty-seven and not three? Because it's saying you put in three, so until it like you're good. You're good. Refresh. You're good until somebody gets to like three point one. Whoa. So I, not too shabby, eh? Wait. Well, well there you go, Adam. You're welcome. And actually, right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a live look at the Dave and Adams <laughs> accounting department. Can we take a look at that, please? Oh, they are pissed the not <laughs> they are pissed the about. accounting department is not okay today. accounting department knows that's coming out of their paycheck yeah 
and out of yours. You know what? It's worth it. <laughs> worth it. Oh. As long as I get to touch, I just want to touch the card. Actually, no. You know what? Snip Don't it. let me touch that. Yeah, maybe a little. I don't know where. Where's the dolphin? Why is the yeah. dolphin there? Yeah, why? That made me nervous. Yeah, no. I'm like I, sweating. We, Are you sweating? I'm like sweating. I gripped the chair like this. I was like, I can't believe. I've never seen that many zeros. I've never entered that many zeros. Let's just say. Yeah, no. I've never. I've never seen that many zeros. Well, your, I mean, I've seen like language. three zeros in my bank account, but not. It's the <laughs> other way, not that way, not going up. Let's say going down. I have like three zeros on the other side of the. Yeah. Right. right yeah. <laughs> For some reason, there was actually a dash mark in my account like <laughs> yeah. before the numbers. It was weird. Bad? I don't know how that happened. Is that good, guys? Or bad? I agree with Kitty. Kitty said I would poop my pants. Yeah. I was close. Your whole body language changed the second it was confirmed bed. You were like, no. I was nervous. Yeah. Because like, that could have gone one of two ways. Do, uh, do we want to like take some steam off and maybe rip? I think it's a great idea. Lena. Yeah. I think that's a good call. Let's, yeah. let's end it how we always do, baby. And Yeah. You know, we can keep an eye out on that. Option. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye out on that. Uh, for right now, let's, you know, send thoughts and prayers to the D.A. accounting department. Um, yeah. As Tyler's we're thinking would, about as Tyler guys. would say prayers. Oh, there they are again. Just a replay for you. They are. Oh, oh, God. no. Oh, and the camera gets covered. Tyler, did you see that? They broke the camera. That's money right there. That's coming out of Tyler's paycheck. now. Everybody's <laughs> losing money. Except Adam. He might be gaining that Honus Wagner card. And you know how cool that would be? If he got that, I know that'd be pretty that dope. Because so then we cool. would definitely have to have him here, sitting on right the here. show. He'd be talking to us about that Honus Wagner. Best believe. Yeah. Um, all right, box rib giveaway time. I know you guys have been waiting for that. If you remember earlier in the show, TJ in the chat gave us a suggestion of how you are going to enter the giveaway for this score box right here. He said, "Let us know in the chat on Twitch." or on the YouTube pre replay, uh, how much you think that 60-second home run ball from Aaron Judge is going to go for? There you go. Should have sent David to Yankee Stadium that. to get Judge's 60-second by any means necessary. That's actually not a bad idea. No, it's Flying to Texas. <laughs> oh, that's what they play next? Then? Yeah. Oh, shoot. This is actually legitimate. We didn't even practice this, but I don't know how I'm going to... I got to open the box. With your teeth. Where's the... Do you even have one? Where's the cutter? Do I have it? Who's got it? Oh, that's right. They got the O's at home this week. 600K, 5.5. Oh. oh, it's still hot. Ah. Oh. There it is. Who put there she there? is. Look at double the mugs. We got a first time chatter saying 1.2. 1.2. Warlord right there. 1.2. Yeah, people think it's going to go into the millions. 4.2 million. Kitty Lick Lick said it is priceless in Aaron Judge's mom's eyes. Aww. Aww. All right. Tyler, may I please have the overhead? Ew. Look at, is this my overhead? Oh, she froze. Oh, please. Oh, she froze it. Oh, please. There it is. Oh, oh. That's like super, wow, that is super zoom. Yeah, hold on a second. There you go. There we go. <laughs> that thing was zoomed in. Zoom. All right, uh, 40 cards per pack, 10 packs per box. That means Elaine and I are going to do five each. Oh, that practice. Celsius is making me a little bit jittery. I'm not going to lie. I know. All right, uh, remember, 90 rookies. And wow. we're going to do four autos per box. I hope I get a good auto. I hope I get an, oh boy, I hope I get an auto. I want the right side. Yes. Okay, wow. Give it to me Didn't now. Didn't even let me ask. Give it to Chill me out. now. Chill out. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, she wants the right side. You heard it. Tyler, can I get the uh, wide just to transfer it to Elena? All right, there we go. Uh, what do you say I rip my five packs first and then we'll r let Alina I like rip the idea last? That. How about that? Give me some time. All right, let's it. get to it. Good luck, chat. Remember, put in the chat how much you think Aaron Judge's 60-second home run, if it happens, will be worth. Um, they think I'm going to win. Scores a lot of base, so I'm going to kind of try to flip through and just see if I find rookies. 
Love that music. Okay, I think we got to the... Okay, here we go. Rookie cards here. This is Ty Freifogel, rookie. Leo Chanel, Jack Cohn, Terry McBride, or Trey McBride. Oh, Lord, Trey. <laughs> CJ Verdell, Devin Lloyd, Thibodeau. There you go. That's not a bad one. Thibodeau, first rounder there. Daxton Hill. Stingley Jr., mm. what do we got here? T. Higgins, Joe Burrow, Justin Jackson. Little Interesting. Trifecta. We'll insert. Hot rookies. We got a hot rookie. Hot, 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 hot. Stingley Jr. Kieran Williams. Okay, what's this? Harrison Smith. First numbered card here. That's out of 35. Ooh. Harrison Smith. Nice. Okay. There you go. Nice. Not very He's nice. nice. There you go. That's a, that's a tribute to David right there tribute i make it sound like he's gone pitmaster says 750k for the judge yeah that drink make me jitter. i know i am i'm like jittering right now all right let's go to drew blood so i love those uh, and the Patriots pats. i love those uniforms though the og there you go josh there it is Okay, who we got? We've got Jay Sean Corbin. There you go. Nice Garrett, Garrett Wilson, Wilson rookie. Love that. Kyle Hamilton. Uh, Econ, uh, Iquanu. Iquanu. There you Iquanu. go. Drake London. Drake London. Another nice one there. Zamir White. <laughs> Kyle Phillips. Hot damn. Oh, hot damn. This is my jam. Mm, mm. Breakthrough. Keep me part. What do we got? Garrett Wilson there. Draft. Nice. Who's the hot rookie here? Brees Hall. Nice. Oh. In the Iowa State Uni. RB. Ooh. No. Yes. Hopefully we didn't. I was not expecting that. All right, guys. We've got, I think that might replace an auto. That is wild card points. I'm not going to show you the QR code, obviously, you scavengers. Wild card points right there. I'm going to put that off screen. There we go. And T. Higgins gray border. Nice. T. Higgins had a game last night. Yeah, man. He went off. So. He helped me in my parlay. That did not hit. Never does, does it? Nope. <laughs> but, but I must say that uh, T. Higgins was a for sure thing in the parlay. He needed, uh, I think, 50 plus yards and he definitely knocked that one right out the park let's get to the rookies shall we where are they at i know they're here somewhere there they are all right here we go rookies jaquan brisker this is tyler linderbaum Traylon burks nice okay. Pierre Strong Jr., Shakir. Oh, yeah. A little Bill's love there. Harris, who we got? Deese? Deese Newts? Okay. Jerome Ford, Woolen, Mike Evans there. Traylon Burks, Draft. And Gray Border, Vince Young. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. We forget about Vince Young, don't we? Sure do. Sure do. You wasn't just he a, did. Wasn't he uh, a member of the Bills, like, for... Preseason hot second cup of coffee, Vince Young. Maybe for I'm pretty like, sure we signed him. Literally as long as you leave out a cup of coffee. Yeah, literally. In in the ten in, in the thirty seconds that I took to explain that, he I'm pretty gone. sure that's how long he was on the Bills. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. All right. Where is our rookies? Come on. There they are. Uh Maya Sanders. Tyler Batty. He a baddie. Ooh, I like that lad name. Dontario Drummond. Jordan Davis. Ojabu. Likely. Isaiah Likely. I know that's a decent one right there. Decent. Kenneth Walker to the third. Alec Pierce. Brooks. Ooh, that. Hot rookies of Jamison Williams. Mm. Nice. Ooh, gold in the back here. Deontay Johnson. All right. Flipped around. This autograph Oh, you got an auto? Eagles. Okay. Who we got? Carson Strong. Carson Strong, a rookie Ooh. quarterback auto there. There you go. First auto of the box, seeing as we had the wild card points. And then who's the gold here? It is Caleb Ellaby, 
out of 50. Nice. 36 of 50. Caleb Ellaby rookies. So there you go. Carson Strong and a gold right there. We'll obviously make sure we get these sleeved up and top loaded for y'all. All right, last pack on my side. And then Elena's up. Mm. I'm scared. Fly, Eagles, fly on Eagles. the wings of victory. So those must have been my two autos is the wild card points and then Plus. Carson Strong here. Got something good in there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have a feeling you're going to hit a banger. What do you guys think? You think, yeah, I need another big hit. If not, I think Elena's going to hit a banger. Oh, this guy, he's been following me. Uh, Everywhere. Izukanama. Izukanama? He's stalking you in every pack he you is. open. No, you could open a basketball pack. Drake Jackson. Oh, yeah, and he'd still be in there, right? <laughs> Somehow he'd slip in there. There you go. Brees Hall. There you go. Base rookie. Mechi the third. Damian Pierce. Not bad. A couple of Texas teammates there. Desmond Ritter. Uh, Weidemeyer. Isaiah Spiller. I think that's CJ's brother. Oh, really? Mistaken. I think. I love seeing siblings in the NFL and any right? sport. And then out of 100 here, Amari Cooper, Kyler Murray, and Christian McCaffrey. Fantasy stars. I love that. Score showing some love to the fantasy game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for my stack. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. How are you? Let's, Let's turn it over to Elena, shall we? Right. Ooh, the nails. The nails. Fresh set. Fresh set. Because she knew she was going to be ripping. Fresh set. This is where I struggle every time is opening this pack. Of you got this. Don't worry. I'm just gonna keep go it on, slow, put it, guys. Keep it on cam for the folks at home. Okay. You got this. I know you got this. So you just go through? Yeah, I would go through. I noticed that the rookies were like upside down and then you'll obviously see the rookie like card crest. Ma'am, ma'am, could you just... Are we there yet? Could you just put your hands a little... Cl <laughs> like that? Ma'am, yeah. Keep thumbing through like that. Uh, Claypool. There were like the, you'll see the rookie crest. Like at the top. Oh, here we go. There you go. So there's your, there's your rookies. Where you're going to want to start off. So who, Caleb who we Caleb Jalen Wide, Wide, Widemere? Is that Wide my, yeah, I, I saw that too. I think I it's, I don't Matt know, it's Wide Haskins. something. Nick, Nicobe Dean. Hassan Haskins. There you go. Okay, here we go. Carson Strong. I don't know who this cat is. Does anybody know? Uh, got a report on Carson? Oh, my God. There you Christian go. Christian Watson. Sorry, chat. I'm learning. She's Ahmad fine. Gardner. Everybody. I'm going to put that to the side. Get, let's, let's get behind. Elena's learning ability. David yes, Bell. Let's get behind her. Devontae Price. Wow. A squad card. Arizona Cardinals. Squaw. Squaw. Not bad. Okay. Better Carson than Wentz. Oh, hey, yo. We got a breakthrough Mac Jones. Who? Oh, come on. No. Oh, are you that young? I said, who? You're supposed to go Mac Jones. Oh, I might who? do that. Sam Howell. AJ Brown on the Titans. Little score action. Yeah, you don't see that. You don't see that. Now that he's on the Burt Go Birds. And we got Desmond Ryder. Ritter? There you go. Desmond Ritter, a little gray okay. border there. There you go. Got I him. like that. Try to try to neatly. There you go. Although mine's not that neat. It's a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. It's all right. You'll get it. You'll get it. We'll learn one day. She's learning, guys. Do you, okay. have, any, do you have any tips? Tips or tricks yeah, of the drop your tips? Drop your tips for new breakers. Breakers. Tips in, or tricks of the trade. In the biz. Because that's, we're all learning here together. It's the learning tree, baby. Okay. T4 Con for Tour. Yeah. Tell so me. about last night's game. Do you think the college students should be in trouble for leaking Dolphins practice? Uh, I'll be honest. I feel like it happens all the time, and this was just one time that somebody got caught. I'll be honest with you. So. Right. I don't know what the disciplinary action should be there. Brian Dawkins. Oh, here we go. Jahan Dotson. Brian Robertson Jr. Is this the person that got shot in the knee, the rookie that got shot in the knee off? <laughs> it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, I'm going to put that to the side. Vellis Jones <laughs> Jr. Brandon Smith. 
Put the guy who Abraham got shot to the Smith. side. Hey, what if he has like a breakout? That's what I'm saying. James Cook. Not bad. Sky Moore. Kyle Gordon. Aiden Hutchison, rookie. Oh, wow. And we got a squad. Little Philadelphia Eagles for Bloomy. Nine. Learn to read upside down. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading your uh, I'm reading your tips here. Paint oh. your nails daily. Thank uh, you. Gloves are performative. Nails forever. Chris Olave, hot rookie. Love to see it. You really do love I'm to behind, see it. I'm behind Ooh. Chris Olave. Let's turn it. We got an auto, you think? Or what do we got? Oh, no, we got it's the It's one of future. those. Okay. Justin Jefferson, Aaron Rodgers, and Jonathan Taylor, little number. Okay. All right, a Ronnie Rivers, and there's something. Could this be an auto? Oh, I think it is. Ooh. Flip this bad boy over. Look at the, uh... no, other, <laughs> there, no, that's the auto. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm, I'm learning, like, no, 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 I'm no, learning. That's the auto. If my, if my bosses are watching, I'm learning. <laughs> She's doing great. Be I'm careful. Great. Don't don't put your finger on the auto because okay, somebody gonna... in this chat will lose their mind. And, and a then Kenny I'm gonna Galladay. have to. Kenny Galladay. These are a lot of professional fun. pass dropper. Hey yo. That guy can't catch for. Oh, there you go. Bloomy Bloomy says treat the cards like a small child. Like a newborn softly. baby. As I'm. Coddle them. Cradle them. Sing them bedtime stories. Now I'm if it's your first break, you have to break. I love that. Mm -mm. What's this song called? I think I want to add it to my Spotify. Cup them. Yes. Honestly, that sounded weird when I said it out loud. Okay. Swaddle them with sleeves and yes. So basically, you're gonna be treating your your cards like a newborn. And I'm trying. And you're doing. I hey, I it's okay. Kyron Williams, Romeo Dobbs, Roger McCreary, Malik Willis rookie. Nice, nice. Kobe Bryant, Charles oh, Gross. Kobe Bryant spelled a different way. A Just little different. That. Chris Olave. There you go. Nice rookie right there. Oh, I, I didn't even see you got the Malik Willis. I know. I know you didn't. You didn't pay attention to me. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do two things. Logan Hall. <laughs> Bloomy, DM me about music. We'll, we'll have a chat. And I saw, Bloomy, that you and I need to share a Pantera beer. When you make it over to America, or maybe I make it across the pond, we will we'll find Ooh. that Pantera beer. Stefan Diggs. Diggs. Toe he the that line. Dude. He Toe that the dude. line. He, him. Cooper Cup, Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry. We got a breakout. A little breakout. A little breakout action. Breakout. <sighs> Jamar Chase, breakout. Okay. There you go. A little, little second year. A little second year who's action. The, who's the gray border here? I'm mm, thinking Giants. Giants? Thinking Giants. Who we got? Leonard. Go ahead. Rip off the band-aid. Leonard, Leonard Williams. Williams. Nice. Cowboys from hell. I think Love you're that winning. album. You're winning so thus far. Ah, uh, I don't know. You still got it. Listen, I, I never got two say more never. Packs. You still got. I, you still got one more auto. It seems because we get four. We're supposed to get four. Guaranteed. Autos. Four autos. What they like to say in the biz, in the industry, is on average, is the word choice they use. So okay. it's going to be four on average. Rule four: Make sure that Steve guy works. Points That's, isn't see. PJ says points isn't really a hit. You can do it, Elena. They're behind you. I know Elena, the chat likes it. Elena, Elena, Elena. Elena. Who, 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 who? A Jets. Coochie down to the socks like a Biggie Papa. Baby. All right. Where are these like infamous rookie cards? Where or where? Oh, here we go. Angry Elf, can we get a list of winners for the chase? I think that's actually a great Charlie idea. Kohler. We actually do have a Google sheet that maybe we can show you guys. Not today. I'll show it on Monday. Ronnie Rivers. Ronnie. Sam Howell. QB okay. Out of, out of Which, I don't know. If Carson Wentz keeps performing the way he does, he could come do in. we see Sam Howell by the end of the year? Perry and Winfrey. Evan Neal. Jam Jameson Williams. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
Okay, I'm trying to do like the tease thing. Desmond Ritter. <laughs> You're good. You'll know. I, it seems like in it seems like in score, if the card is backwards, that's, that's when we'll the see an indicator. Auto. Okay, yeah. That's good so to know. the the other stuff is just kind of insert parallel fodder. Okay. So you're okay. Marquise Brown. Uh huh. Got a Bills squad. I like this. Squad up. Squad up. Bunch of homers. Oh, here we go. See that? Mu that mu there you so go. See now. Notice, Elena, when you slide it down, it says at the top. It says this autograph. Oh. So. Okay. So this is an auto. An Keep an eye out for that. So we're, we're learning. I'm going to go like this, right? Go ahead. Oh, it's a cardinal, it looks like. Mm. All right. Show it off. Bang. Zach Who we Ertz. got? Oh, Zach Ertz. That's nice. nice. We like I think you won this one. We like the Zach Ertz. We like, a, we like a Zach Ertz right there. No numbering on there. Base auto. Okay. That's what we like to see. And a Devontae Wyatt. There you go. A little... Oh. Gray border there. Gray not border. too shabby. Not too shabby, guys. As Steve would say, that's a dub. I would say Elena win Guys, Elena nice. wins this box, man. So was that, that Great was it? Great bet we auto got our, for sure. We got our four autos then? So that should be our four autos. Any so she's got one more pack. <laughs> Tyler's like, get this bro. His hands off the camera. <laughs> I like how Wahoos is like, who won chat? A, Troy, or B, Elena? And immediately he puts B. Of course she won, guys. She got the Zach Kurtz auto. She, That's cool. I needed, I needed her to have this dub. Yeah, I needed it for myself. <laughs> I wanted this dub. I, that's a good rule, T4 Con 4 Tour. Rule six, Wahoos is your go-to mod. Gabe Davis mm -hmm. little action? He's hurt. He'd Dev be hurting right now. Devonta Smith? Not bad. I'm going to put that to the side. Elena with a double. Yeah. <laughs> Curtis Martin, there you go. Another, we got Brees Hall, and then we got Curtis Martin, a legendary All right, here Jets we go. running back there. Fidarian Mathis. Wow. Wandale Robinson. Wandale. Rashad White. Charles Rambo. DeMarvin Leal. Mm-hmm. George Carl Laffist. Cade Otten. We'll go through these because obviously you guys aren't waiting for the Trent McDuffie. Ooh, here we, here we go. Hands up, hands up. God, <laughs> hands That's up. Scary. He is scary. Jahan Dodson. Jahan Dodson, actually, I feel like he's been having a, a decent season over there in Washington. Little Josh Allen, C.D. Lamb, Leonard Fournette action. Fantasy star. I like these fantasy stars cards. Oh, Jackson. Everybody can relate to that. Jaguars uh, squad card. Lakeside. Rule number seven, always listen to the chat. They always know what is best. Look at this. Breakthrough Zach Wilson. There you go. People are pretty excited for him to come back. Yeah, I believe he's going to be on the way back this week, yeah. too, I believe. I think they, he got cleared for his knee. That's what they're saying. And then who we got? Is that Dwight Freeney? And Dwight Freeney. Wow. Dwight Freeney, gray border. Nice. All right. So there it is. Bang. Bang. Boom. Bang. What'd you guys think? Round of applause for Elena. Ten, All right. She's ten learning. being the best She's break learning. you've ever seen in your whole entire life. One being god awful, mediocre. Rate me right now. Hurt my feelings. Go ahead. I need the constructive criticism. No one's saying six point seven. Okay. Six point seven. You're giving me a six point seven? I'd give you a six. I'm like critical of myself, so I feel like I was shaky. Maybe I should lay off the coffee when I know I'm breaking. Or maybe that's your gimmick, that you just get absolutely wired when you're breaking. But then I feel like that is my gimmick already. I've already decided. <laughs> Sorry. So we got an eight. We got a 6.9 from T4 Com 4, 6.4 from Wahoo, 7.8. Okay, I'll take it. I take I, these it. are all, you know what? They're I'll being not, like, this is all good constructive. No, I can't thank the chat enough for just accepting me and welcoming me with open arms. So we'll all, I'll learn with you guys. So I'm excited to continue this on. I will say that's one thing I've always liked about since I've been back. Uh, this chat is very welcoming. Yeah, they are. They good are very community. welcoming people, uh, a great group. And uh, we only hope to expand it more as we go on. Right. So thank you guys, obviously, for your viewership and uh, always your kind words and, and the fun we have in the chat. But uh, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> Me right They're now? They're still angry. They have not gotten over it. I'm trying to end the show. Why is the, the, the department's mad at me now? Is that what I'm hearing? The department's mad at me now. <laughs> They're mad at Elena for the break, isn't it? All right. Well, hey, Crickets. if you...
What did you say? I said crickets in the room. I was, there it is. There's the cricket noise. I was wait. I, as soon as she said crickets, I was waiting for it. Well. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, I had a lot of fun with Elena, yeah. and we're going to get to do it again on Monday. Elena will be mm-hmm. back in the chair with me on Monday, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Please tell your cousins. I always say this. Tell your cousins. Tell your aunts. Tell your twice removed. You know, people you don't even talk to anymore. Tell them. Tell Watch the guy the in Starbucks. Watch the chase. I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv slash World. And of course, if you want more insight on the hobby, join Meerkat on Card News Now daily on our YouTube page. And also continue to like, comment, follow, subscribe to DA Card World across all of our platforms. Follow the chase on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at DA underscore the chase. Listen to us on Apple and Spotify. We'll see you Monday, folks. Have an incredible weekend. Can't wait to see you guys on Monday. And until then, there's one thing to remember. What is it, Elena? It's It's all all about about the the chase. chase. Let's go. Top guys out. Ow!